Shalom, my name is my brother E. I'd like to welcome you back to another post of the daily devotional for God's ministry. I'm going to do a real quick, it's real, 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 real quick that the Father has placed in my heart. Um, it's, it's about um, the power and authority um, that Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, had to teach and preach um, to the people and how the people um, of the temple at that day in Jerusalem, um, the Pharisees and Sadducees, who were the seat holders of what we supposed to be called um, the laws of Moses and kept the tradition of Abraham, these same people who we call today in the church, that I'm not talking about all churches, I'm just saying the same people, that we would look at the church as pastors and different um, ranks that people hold in churches um, to compare the similarities from back then when Jesus was teaching and back uh, to now, to modern time, how we would look at uh, the churches today, and when they hear someone preaching the word or teaching the word, um, they want to know by what authority does this person have. So I'm going to go by what um, Jesus said back in the days, which is Matthew 21, verse 23. Um, and when he was come into the temple, the chief priest and the elders of the people came unto him as he was teaching. And said, by what authority does thou these things? And who gave this authority? So, there's people of the church, uh, what we call church today, back then, was the keepers of the law, so-called, uh, of the temple. And they was like, you know, they seen Jesus teaching, like, who, who's this guy? Who, what authority do you have to teach these things, right? And this, this, this is why I always say, Jesus was gangster. Jesus wasn't like um, those type of... Um, um, what we painted him to be in the church, and and so um, he was very, very smart with wisdom. And uh, I mean, he was the son of God, the Most High. But I mean, it's the way he approached them. Um, he took their own words and pinned it against them. Um, he took every word that they had said towards him or claims, and he turned it around and took it and made it a sword against them in front of the people, and this grieved them heavily and made them angry. I'm going to go on and read. And it says, And Jesus answered and said unto them, I also will ask you one thing, which if ye tell me, I likewise will tell you by what authority I do these things. So Jesus was like, well, if you want to know what, um, my authority, who, who gives me the authority to teach and preach these things, then I want to ask you one question. Jesus is like, I want to ask you one question. If you answer me these, these questions, this one question, I will tell you by what authority. Okay. And he said, Jesus said, um, the baptism of John, once was it? So he's asking them, he said, the baptism of John the Baptist. You know, once was it? I mean, like, what was it? Um, from heaven? Was it from heaven or from men? I Meaning, was it from God or was it from men? Something that men made up. And, um, and they reason with themselves, meaning the Pharisees, the Sadducees, those who are uh, angry against Jesus' teaching. They, they was uh, talking among themselves, like, what should we say about this? Like, they're trying to get their thoughts together, right? So, um, and they said, if we say from heaven, he will say unto us, why did ye not then believe him? Right? So, they were saying, they, they you know, they huddled together, and they said, okay, say this. And they said, Look, Jesus, if we say it was from heaven, he would say, he would say, you would say unto us, Jesus, why did you not believe him? And then, um, and they went on to say, but if we shall say of men, we fear the people for all hold John as a prophet. So they couldn't say if it was from heaven, from God, or for, for men, because Jesus took what they were coming at him and turned it around as a sword against them and asked them, what was the baptism of John? Yeah, you know, John the Baptist was making a lot of noise around, you know, the countryside and all around people were hearing about the miracles performed through the water baptism. And even a lot of the people in the temple, the uh, Pharisees and Sadducees, not all of them, but a lot of them believed that John the Baptist was a prophet. Um, uh, uh, but most didn't, you know, that held um, high position seats. So they knew John the Baptist was a special person. They just, some of it confirmed it, and most didn't want to confirm that. And the people 
in Jerusalem, they all was mostly confirmed that John Baptist was a prophet because they all had uh, testimonies and they all were part of the testimony of when he baptized people. They felt the power of baptism and they felt relief from their sins and burdens, right? So, um, so, and then it goes on and it says, and they answered Jesus and said, we cannot tell. Meaning, they said, look, we can't tell. So they was trying to be smart, right? And like, we can't tell if it was from heaven or from men. Um, we can't tell because they really didn't want people to turn against them because a lot of people held John the Baptist as a prophet that Jesus was teaching. And then they couldn't tell. They didn't want to say it was from heaven because then... Um, they would have to say, well, we believe that John the Baptist was a prophet, and then you have the right to preach, right? Because they knew that John the Baptist baptized Jesus as well. So then it goes on. So Jesus said then, you know what? Neither shall I tell you by what authority I do these things. So he got smart back with them because they came to him with a um, smart attitude, a uh, um, disrespectful uh, kind of approach to Jesus when he was teaching the people what the Father has placed in him. He was about his father's business. So people wanted to know what authority, you know, do you have to preach these things, right? And Jesus came out and he took that same word and he used it against them in front of people to slay them. And they and and after that they 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 couldn't say anything because it's like, well, that's like one he asked us one question. He said, what was John the Baptist um, baptism? Was it from heaven? Was it for God? Or was it from men? That that stopped them cold in their tracks. They, and people were upset and angry at that because Jesus, um, you know, because the Father had given the power authority to, uh, to speak like that. But a lot of people think that Jesus is, uh, was a kind of like a flower-bearing kind of guy. Like, you know, don't forget what he did at the temple when he overturned the tables and and he said, you made my, my father's house into a house of a, a, a den of thieves. And he flipped the tables and he was enraged by his father's spirit in him because of all the uh, uh, all the things that he was seeing, um, you know, people selling things for the temple and making money off of the temple. And, and he was angered. So Jesus wasn't, I'm not saying that's the right behavior to have in all things because we know what type of society we're living in now. But Jesus wasn't a punk. Jesus wasn't soft. Jesus had his side. But it was a righteous anger. Because remember, he was made blameless without a sin. So was the Father's anger against um, um, Israel? Yes, at the time, yes. So we know that the Father has his ways of being angry and upset. And um, also the Father holding back rain um, and causing famine throughout the land um, because of his anger against the people or against uh, a nation. So we, we know that the Father has different um, Heavenly Father, creator of all things heaven and earth um, has his rules and I always tell people uh, there's a system in every ecological uh, life uh, um, organism, meaning from human beings to the plant life to every every life that you could think about everything you see in the physical there is a process of recorrection uh, that the Father has placed there is a, a mighty knowledge and wisdom for things when it comes out of balance with each other to recorrect itself as a system to recorrect itself and we may not like the system and the process of things being recorrected because of all the discomfort that it causes to reconnect itself back into what the father has originally designed a, a, a thing to be so um jesus was recorrecting the people back to what God designed the people to be and it was causing a lot of discomfort on <laughs> a lot of people because it, um, Jesus was taking the, the, the focus off the, the, tra the traditional ways of men from the temple and bringing it back to God Almighty. Well, I hope that this helped you um, and I hope that this blessed you and I pray that this blessed you and may you uh, receive this and, and full knowledge of wisdom of the Holy Spirit. May the Holy Spirit open your your ears so you can hear what you need to hear. May the Holy Spirit open your eyes so you can see what you need to see. May the Holy Spirit um, um, blossom your intelligence, your knowledge, the wisdom, so it grows.
so you can be able to perceive these things of the Most High, the Heavenly Father. And um, may you be blessed. Have a blessed day. Have um, a lot of more other teachings and videos coming up. Uh, thank you for coming. Um, peace and shalom.